Hey everybody, welcome back. And now you can see we're inside of ZBrush and we're ready to begin our process of creating uh, the character for our portrait. And to do this, we're just simply gonna take some of our concept art here and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the comma button, jump into my project uh, folder here. And we're gonna go ahead and bring in a, uh, a concept piece here. Um, now, uh, it should be noted that we're not going to be making this specific character um, but it's going to make it very easy for us to go ahead and actually draw out uh, the geometry that we need and the um, base mesh that we'll be using here so I'm just going to go ahead and double click on this bring it in the spotlight here and go ahead and close this and we'll just go ahead and scale it up a little bit here we'll go ahead and turn our opacity down okay and I'm just going to save the spotlight here in our project folder so that you guys can actually have this as well. So we'll just go ahead and throw this into our project folder real quick. Okay, so we'll call this the Rhino Spot um, Light. Okay, now to create our uh, base mesh, what we can go ahead and do here. Um, we're going to try and make this as very easy as possible. We'll just take our Z-Sphere. Um, you can always use DynaMesh uh, or DynaMesh Sphere to go ahead and do this, but I'm just simply going to draw it out here with a Z-Sphere. So I'll go ahead and just bring this in. Hit T uh, to make sure that the, the Z-Sphere is editable here. And I'm going to hit Q to make sure that I'm drawing out uh, at the base here. And I'm also going to draw one on the top. Okay. And I'll make sure that I uh, draw one, let's say, right in the middle of this. And I'm going to draw one out here um, on the sides. But I want to make sure that I draw it out on the sides because this way I know where the middle portion of the mesh is. Okay, so that would be basic, the, the very basics. Uh, of our rhino here okay and we're just going to go ahead and manipulate this into shape so we'll just hit w on our keyboard select the z-sphere go ahead and put this into place we'll go ahead and start moving the z-spheres here so we'll go ahead and scale this one down maybe move this a little bit go ahead and move that one as well we'll take these uh, z-spheres which are supposed to be our ears here and we're going to just try and get this to be in the correct positions to really go ahead and start creating this. Well, the basics of this image. So we need to just scale this down a little bit here. And that we did that, we need to scale down our Z sphere to match. So we'll go ahead and put the ear here. Okay. And we'll just draw an RZ sphere on top of these. Just making sure that we select that first okay and then we'll just simply pull it out a little bit because we can always manipulate this mesh later um, and using the rhino bust that you see in the background here it's just going to make it much easier for us to actually get our original uh, base mesh here uh, to be brought in okay so and to be made so let's go ahead and take a look at our base mesh here take a look at our geometry um, and there's really no um, malformed issues here with our base geometry okay so at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I save this just so that if I have to go back and make edits and, and make changes it's just going to be much easier to do that okay so we'll go ahead here and save this and we'll call this the Rhino uh, Z sphere and we can come in here now and come down to our depth of skin pull out make our depth of skin you're gonna see that it gets thrown in here uh, to the tool menu go ahead and select that making sure that we have our symmetry on by hitting X okay we're gonna go ahead and grab our move topological tool and we'll just start manipulating our mesh here 
and just try to get this uh, into the shape that we we want here. Um, I'm not really concerned with making it, you know, 100% look like what is the the underlying mesh here. But what I do want is I want to make sure that I have it to the point where it's going to at least work for the shape. So um, we're, we're really just going to try an idea and brainstorm out some stuff here. Okay, so we need to make sure that we adjust these ears here as well. Okay. And if we want, we can always play with the shape a little bit more. Okay, let me go ahead and turn the opacity up here a little bit. And we'll just continue to uh, mess with the shape here. And you can turn that uh, poly frame off if you want to. It's really no big deal. Okay, we'll go ahead and maybe start manipulating the mesh a little bit more. And I'm really just trying to get the, the basics of the shape right here um, before I really start sculpting in earnest because what we really really want to make sure that we do is we really want to make sure that we send this over to Maya, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. Let me go ahead and just move the output window there. And I'll show you uh, what we're going to do here real quick inside of Maya because we want to make sure all this stuff is laid, lined up for later on down the road. Uh, simply because if someone is going to rig it or render it inside of Maya, um, you really want to make sure it's lined up properly. So I just need to go ahead and fit Maya to my window here. Okay, and you can see that when it comes into Maya, this is very small. Okay, so we obviously are going to need to scale this up. Um, not necessarily based off of a grid. Um, I'm just scaling it up randomly just to make sure it's going to be a little bit larger and with that done I'm also making sure that um, the middle portion of the mesh is actually on the middle portion uh, on the the grid line here so you can see where it's basically off just a little bit here so I need to make sure that I straighten this out okay and at this point we can go ahead and just send this back over so there you can see where it uh, basically sizes up inside of ZBrush. Okay. Go ahead and just jump up subdivision level. We can probably delete the lower res here uh, since this isn't necessarily, you know, super complicated right now. Um, this is still fairly low in terms of the actual polygon count. Okay. Uh, and at this point, since we have everything lined up, before we really start uh, manipulating our mesh, I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here, because this lesson was just to show you guys how to go ahead and create a basic bust from a Z-Sphere. Uh, and then in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back and begin the process of really manipulating our mesh to uh, get the shape, and then we'll go ahead and start sculpting. So, uh, come on back, everybody.